Agape? What's that word mean? You may know that agape is a Greek word for love, but let's look closer at its meaning. Agape is the kind of love God has for humanity. Unlike worldly love, agape is God's unconditional love for his people. Since this is the kind of love God has for us, it's also the kind of love we should have for others. John chapter 3 verse 16 is a perfect example. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. We find agape used 116 times in the New Testament and 15 times in the Greek Old Testament, expressing, love, loved, beloved, and even, brotherly love, in Jude chapter 12. Agape is the result of loving someone undeserving, regardless of any rejection or disappointment we get from them. We should remember that he loves us unconditionally when we have disappointed him, and we want to express that same love for others. We read in John chapter 13 verse 34, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Duty, principle, and esteem resulting in moral goodwill, that's agape. While I did use the word duty, we need to remember that agape is more than a religious obligation. It's a moral principle demonstrated by our Savior. There is no better example of agape than the life, ministry, and death of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 5 verse 6 tells us that while we were still helpless, Christ died for our sins. I have given five examples of where agape can be found in scripture, which means there are 126 more uses of this kind of love in scripture. As you read and study his word, pray that you will be led to understand the depth of love expressed in these verses. To give you a head start, there are 21 uses in 1 John, 14 in 1 Corinthians, 10 in Ephesians, 9 in Romans, 9 in 2 Corinthians, and 7 in the book of John. That only leaves 56 for you to find yourselves. Don't worry. You will have no problem identifying the rest when you recognize agape in the places I have pointed you towards. You will know how to identify this greatest virtue by then.